This patient and his wife tell about their experience with a very large sinus surgery at the Modern Nose Clinic. Also, he had a traditional surgery in the operating room done elsewhere previously, and he compares the two experiences. His spouse discusses what it was like watching the surgery. Yeah. So this is Doug Scarada, and this is uh, one of one of my favorite patients. Uh, I've got a lot of cool patients, but uh, and his wife, and they just had a surgery just a couple of weeks ago. And um, the neat thing here, I won't mention his name, but uh, the neat thing he said he'd share his story. The neat thing here is that he's had the surgery done before, the one where you go to the operating room, and then he had this procedure done here. I was wondering, and actually his wife was just telling me a bunch of stuff. Tell me about how different it was. Oh, well, I, I didn't know about the first one, but I know he, from what he told me how painful the recovery and long and, and everything. And so this procedure, the first day after we brought him home, he really wasn't in any pain. I don't even think you hardly took a pain pill after you left here ever. But that first, so he rested on the couch and just relaxed and um did what he was supposed to do with the rinsing because I know that really helps yeah. and so he was very diligent about that and that first night just listening to him breathe without struggling was amazing right the very first night no pain he was in no pain this is a patient who is not a complainer this guy is like he climbs trees he's a tree topper if I'm correctly yeah. stating that but he also is a self-professed adrenaline junkie and he says Doug man when I'm not doing my job I'm doing other things that are probably even more dangerous. So the idea that he would go around with a whole bunch of infection in his sinuses was a non-starter. But yet he had a big, big surgery, and it was kind of a surprise you still had infection despite that, right? Yeah, well, you know, I think it was 26 years ago at least when I had the uh, operating, the, the old surgery, and uh, it seemed like weeks uh, because uh, I was a Federal Express employee at the time, and um, it weeks and painful, very painful. Uh, I'll never forget that surgery. And then after having this surgery and waking up the next day, I didn't even know that I had had a surgery, honestly. That is awesome. Didn't even know it. I mean, the recovery, um, one thing that you, know, I, that you professed I should do, and I did do, and I, I uh, Medipod, Medipod yes. and I did that in the morning and the evening. And by putting that, uh, cutting those little um, bags, you know, and putting them in there, yes, um, you know, and then shaking them, yeah, and with a lukewarm water, yes. not hot, yeah, um, and 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 I would uh, inhale deeply and exhale as I used each uh, one in each sinus, yes, so one bottle per sinus. Um, I think that that really helps on the recovery and the healing. That's good to after know. the surgery, you know. Yeah. But um, I've got to say that um, I've already told. Lots of people about you in you. Uh, your, you know, your surgery. They're afraid to come in, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And I said, go see Doctor Scarada because you'll be amazed. Well, thank you. We have this idea that about eighty percent of the people out there who could benefit are too afraid, and our field has done it to ourselves. Your nose and throat doctors have hurt people and and uh, trying to help them, but not realizing that you don't have to cut open the sinuses. You can actually dilate them with a balloon and other delicate techniques with a procedure, a wake in clinic instead of going to the operating room for a surgery. So thank you guys for sharing that. Let me share one more yes. thing. Because I am a person that I never thought I would be able to watch his surgery and I watched every minute just passionately. It was so amazing to watch and he, he didn't, it wasn't painful, it was delicate, it was fine tuned and, and it was fascinating. And it wasn't, uh, it, it didn't unnerve me. It was, a, it was really pretty amazing. I'm excited to see the video. That's helpful to know too, because some people are apprehensive. At the Modern oh, Nose no. Clinic, we like to invite friends and family members to watch while we're doing the surgery. It was amazing. It gives, it gives me a chance. I enjoy um, people and it gives me a chance to really know the families better. So I feel like we get to bond a little bit better. And we can really, when you see something and you see why we're doing it, and you can watch, you can see it successfully opened, you know that you've gotten it fixed. Whereas when your loved one goes to the OR and they say I did X, Y, and Z, you believe them, but there's something about actually seeing it. Absolutely. And in, in this case here, his prior surgery, they had tried to open sinuses that were never opened. I mean, when we opened them, it was the first time. Yeah, so, it was amazing. So, all right, thank you guys. I think people will listen to this and they'll find it to be really helpful. At the Modern Nose Clinic, our patients get better faster.